Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to get right into it. This is pink guava. If you're in Florida, this is a must have for your fruit forest. This tree is loaded. Now, once they start to get a little bigger, the critters will get to them. They already started. I had two there, gone. And I'm also doing this. Trying to bag them up, but they'll get through the bag. See, there was more there. I'm in Zone 9B, West Florida. We do receive a frost every year. But one thing about guava, it will bounce right back. It will get some leaf damage, but it handles the 20s no problem at all. And as far as fertilizer, I do not put anything on this tree. Same thing with all trees. I put them in the ground, give them water for a couple weeks, and they're on their own. And as you can see, this thing looks great. Let's move on to the next one. This is Ruby Supreme, and it has quite a bit of fruit forming. One thing I want to mention about guavas, if you're looking to purchase a tree, get a named variety like a Ruby Supreme, because I have a seedling guava, and guavas have a lot of seeds, and they're very difficult to eat because the seeds are so hard. I mean, hard enough to crack a tooth. You will not have that issue with Ruby Supreme. Also, I have yet to see any diseases on this tree, so it's a really good variety to pick. So if you're thinking about growing guava, those are just a couple varieties to look into. There's so much more on the market, but I hope this video helps you out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.